It was time for another adventure. After over 13 hours of flying, we touched down in the Seychelles, a group of over 100 islands isolated in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Out of my plane window, I saw looming mountains covered in thick foliage. It was at that moment that I knew I was in for an exciting experience. I simply couldn't wait for what the Seychelles had in store for us. We jumped in a taxi and headed for our villa. This was our home for the next two weeks. A one bedroom cabin situated at the edge of a dense forest. With tall trees either side of our cabin, it was easy to imagine that we were in the middle of the jungle, cut off from civilization. Our cabin was simple, yet had everything we required for our stay. It had a kitchen and a living area. As we were planning on doing a lot of cooking to keep our costs down, the kitchen was perfect. Then there was the bedroom. It was spacious, with views of the forest outside the windows. Finally, there was the balcony, my favourite part of the cabin. After a good night's sleep, we were keen to explore the island. Perfect timing, as our rental car had just been dropped off. We drove aimlessly, with no destination in mind. We were excited to see where the empty roads would take us. After driving down narrow coastal roads with no barriers, we stopped off at a remote beach. The beach appeared to be guarded by a small dog. Welcome to my beach! to head back to our cabin. The next day we decided to visit the capital city called Victoria. It was a scenic drive along a road that wound around a mountain. By the time we actually reached Victoria I wasn't feeling so well so we called our day trip short. The following day was more eventful. This was the day that we found the hidden gem of the Seychelles. Anse Royale is a beach found on the east coast of the island. I can honestly say that I have never been to such a picturesque beach before. The landscape is unrivalled, with a stunning islet just off the coast and iconic granite boulders dotting the shore. The water is so clear that you can clearly see the fish and coral beneath it. The highlight for me was the snorkelling. We saw lionfish, angelfish, parrotfish and many more. The star of the show, however, was the stingray. It took my breath away. We loved this beach so much that we visited it four times during our two weeks stay on the island. If you're visiting Mahi, I highly recommend stopping off at Anse Royale. In our last week, we decided to explore the north of the island. Whilst it yielded some stunning views, the overall feel was quite eerie with locals approaching our car whenever we stopped, and several abandoned buildings. To make matters worse, we got lost, unable to find the beach we were looking for. What will we do now? We've lost it to trying, we've lost it to trying. As 
as you've just seen, it wasn't all bad. The Mont Seychellios National Park was breathtakingly beautiful. In our final days on the island, we went kayaking at the Four Seasons Resort and visited more beaches. The sun set on our time in the Seychelles. I was sad to leave, but at the same time, I can't wait for what my next adventure will be.